Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Noelle and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of body system. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 4. In this question, a lung model was drawn for you and the question tells you that the lung model is similar to some parts of the human respiratory system. So what we need to do here is to match part of the lung model to part of the human respiratory system. Starting with the straw, what is the function of the straw? It is to transport air from the surrounding to the balloon. Similar to which part of the human respiratory system? Similar to the windpipe that transports air from the nose to the lungs. Next, when you breathe, you would want air to enter which part of your body? You would want air to enter the lungs. Similarly, in this lung model, air that enters the straw will eventually enter which part? Enters the balloon. Therefore, the balloon represents the lungs in the human respiratory system. Moving on, the rubber sheet here can move up and down. And this is similar to which part of the human respiratory system that can also move up and down, similar to the diaphragm. Lastly, you have the plastic bottle that is protecting the balloon that is inside. This is similar to which part of the body that protects the lungs, similar to the ribcage. But does the ribcage belong to the respiratory system? No, instead the ribcage is part of the skeletal system. Let's continue reading the question. When the rubber sheet was put downwards, the balloon became inflated. Why would the balloon become inflated? Well, let's think about it. If the rubber sheet was not put downwards, rubber sheet will be flat, just like the part that is highlighted in red. But when the rubber sheet was put downwards, this is how the lung model will look like. Is there now more or less space inside the plastic bottle? There is now more space inside the plastic bottle. If you cannot visualize where the additional space is at, let me shade the additional space for you. The part that is shaded in purple is where the additional space is at. And what object will take up this additional space? It is air. But air from where? Air from the surrounding. And how is the air from the surrounding going to enter the plastic bottle? Air from the surrounding will enter the plastic bottle through the straw. And then air will be transported from the surrounding into the balloon. So now is there more or less air inside the balloon? More air. And when there is more air inside the balloon, Will the balloon become bigger or smaller? Balloon will become bigger. And when the balloon becomes bigger, the balloon is said to be inflated. So now do we know why the balloon becomes inflated? Yes. The question also asks you to find the following that best describes the movement of parts in the human respiratory system, starting with the movement of air. Is it into lungs or out of lungs? Well, which part of the lung model represents the lungs? It is the balloon. So was air moving into the balloon or out of the balloon? Air was moving into the balloon. So this is why we will tick into lungs and cross out out of lungs. Next, movement of diaphragm. Which part of the lung model represents the diaphragm? The rubber sheet. Was the rubber sheet moving downwards or upwards? Rubber sheet was pulled downwards. Therefore, we tick downwards, cross out upwards. Lastly, size of lungs. As we have already mentioned, the balloon represents the lungs. Did the balloon become larger or smaller? The balloon became larger. So the size of the lungs should also become larger. Have we found our answer? Yes. Answer should be option 2. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!